When you go to load paper, you will want to go to the paper menu and tell the printer that you're going to load paper. To do that, you swipe to the left of the screen and you'll see a paper menu icon. When you press that, you will get an option to hit load paper. And at that point, you would open the drawer and it walks you through the whole process. Now I will show you how to load paper into the printer. You will pull up in the paper drawer on the front. There's a handle right in the center. And you will see two spindles with blue handles on them. What you would do first is raise up the blue handles and then push the two spindles apart towards the sides. Then you will grab your paper roll and just rest the paper into the paper drawer like so. And then you t grab the outside of the two spindles and squeeze those together. And that will raise up and grab the paper. And then you fold down the two locking blue handles. Now what you do is you take the, the edge of the paper and feed that underneath the, the metal plate in the front. There's a, a purple arrow that indicates where to feed the paper. So you feed that up underneath this plate and it will automatically grab the paper. Now if you want to trim the paper, there are buttons on the right side of the print paper drawer that you can press to trim rolls one and two. So if you press the button, it will trim the paper. If you hold the button down, it will continue to feed the paper. Now at this point, you just push the drawer closed. I will show you also how to load roll two. It's the same process as roll one, except for you have to feed it in a little bit further. So I'd like to show you that now. When you pull open the drawer, you unlock the two spindles, just like for roll one, and you separate them. And you place the roll inside the drawer. And you squeeze the two spindles together. On the second roll, you'll see there's a series of purple arrows. And you feed the paper underneath this metal plate. On the second roll, you tend to have to help the paper a little bit. But the difference on roll two is you have to feed it a lot further than the roll one. So you want to keep feeding the paper until the printer starts to grab it on its own. Once you close the paper drawer, you will get a prompt on the touch screen asking for the type of paper that you want to use. You press the blue box on the touch screen and you'll get a list of paper choices to pick from. There is a wide array array of paper that you can pick from, uh, ranging from plain paper to glossy paper to um, poster material. And you can also put in the length of the paper, and this will help the printer keep track of how much paper is in the machine. Once your choices are made, press finish and check and it will check the paper and auto detect the size of the width. Thank you for watching our video and I hope it helps you with your new printer. Those are the basic things that you need to know about your new PageWide printer. Don't be intimidated by the size. It is a very user friendly printer and we are here for you if you ever need anything. Call us if you have any questions and we can come on site and help you with any of your needs. We also have a remote desktop computer service that we can use to help you with any software questions or issues that you may have.